everyone. Given a function f of x we have here in one of its zeros, 1 minus 3i, we're going to find all the zeros of the function. According to our complex conjugate theorem, if 1 minus 3i is a 0, then so is 1 plus 3i. So we already found 2, and um, we can have one more here because we have a, a degree of 3. So since these are our two zeros, I'm going to form a polynomial with these two zeros given. So I'm going to write this as x minus 1 minus 3i times x minus 1 plus 3i. Now I'm going to go ahead and distribute this negative here, get rid of those parentheses. So you have x minus 1 plus 3i times x minus 1 minus 3i. And what I'm going to do is use the associative principle of arithmetic and move these parentheses around like this. And the reason I want to do this is because I want to use my uh, complex um, conjugate and division um, information. So if I have it written as a plus bi times a minus bi, then this equals a squared plus b squared. Since these are the same, these quantities, my a is going to be x minus 1. These are the same. So my b is going to be 3. Because remember, i squared equals negative 1. That looks like 12. So it's i squared is negative 1. So now I can write this as a plus b i i times a minus b i equals a squared plus b squared. So I'm just going to take a squared. So a is x minus 1 squared plus 3 squared. And expand this uh, here and you get x squared minus 2x plus 1 and this is plus 9. So we end up getting x squared minus 2x plus 10. Now I'm going to use the newly formed polynomial to divide this polynomial. So the uh, x squared minus 2x plus 10 uh, is my divisor and my dividend is here. Now don't forget we don't have an x squared so we're going to put a zero in front of that. So this will be x cubed plus 0x squared plus 6x plus 20. Because you have to have like terms to divide. Now what times x squared gives me uh, x cubed, and that's just going to be x. So multiply x times all of this, and you get x cubed minus 2x squared plus 10x. And then we subtract subtract each term so that goes away and 0 minus a negative 2 is positive 2 6 minus uh, 10 is going to be minus 4x and then bring down your um, 20 now you're going to ask the same thing what times x squared gives me 2x squared that's going to be plus 2 so we're going to multiply everything, all of this, this trinomial, by 2. And you get 2x squared minus 4x plus 20. And then we subtract. And all this is going to zero out. Since we have a remainder of 0, this is a factor. If x plus 2 is a factor, then you uh, solve for x, and you get x equals negative 2 is a 0. So that's the missing zero we have. Of course, the other two zeros again were one minus three i and one plus three i. So that's your three zeros. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.